Hi, Patty Starker here from Westford Cat with a special series that focuses on regional artists that are scheduled to display their work at the Parish Center for the Arts Artist of the Month virtual exhibitions. I recently spoke with Dan Rocha, a seasoned and talented mixed media artist who has exhibited extensively throughout New England, in New York, and even as far as Australia and the Netherlands. Dan's exhibition features two genres of artwork, aerial geological framed work and his 3D sculptures. Although they are quite different visually, Rocha explains how the technique in which they are created is quite similar, and all of his work focuses on his love of color. It's it's a very similar technique in, in both cases. I, um, I I begin with the um, uh, you know wood, and, um, and then this I, I I often texture the surface of the wood. The texture of the surface of the wood, I prime it, then I size it, and then I silver leaf the entire surface. And then when I tint the resin, I tint the resin with color, with acrylic paint, but very lightly. What happens is that the light, the light passes through it, through the resin, and it hits the silver leaf, the original surface of the silver leaf, and it reflects back. So the light is bent. The light mm -hmm. is bent, and then the color is illuminated. Similar to, um, it's, not, it's not an exact process like, uh, stained glass, but it's a similar thing. It's, it, the color has illumination. I asked Rosha how he got started in this colorful genre. So exploring this, I, you know, I used to use a lot of glazes, mm -hmm. which behave in a similar manner where the light passes through the um, transparent color and it reflects. Uh, and then I, I, I happened upon this. I happened upon resin. And to get the most... Um, saturated color, um, I began using silver leaf so that this would kind of like emphasize, you know, the color. And, uh, and it evolved, you know, the testorial two-dimensional work, testorial geological two-dimensional work actually mm -hmm. evolved out of the sculpture. I did the sculpture first. And at one point I, I, I peeled off the resin of the sculpture and I, I, I reworked them into two dimensional pieces. So, uh, so you started with the sculptures first. Yeah, I did, and and the, but the, the 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 primary reason was color. Mm -hmm. It's a sort of an area where a lot of sculpture doesn't go. Mm -hmm. A lot of sculpture doesn't go in color. Dan studied painting and sculpture at Mass College of Art and Design, where he received the Berger Award for painting upon graduation. I, I went to grad school after that, and I had a thesis. My thesis was on human response to color. So mm -hmm. I had, to, it was like a research thesis. Mm -hmm. I had to write out a questionnaire, and then the respondents had this board of a poster of different colors. And I had, you know, which, you know, I had a bunch of questions in response to this color, these colors. Russia has always focused on color. Uh, creative people usually dream in color. Most women dream in color, but most men do not. They most most of the time they dream in black and white or sepia. Yes, I I didn't realize that. So you're unique. You are unique. Well, I no, I wouldn't say unique. I, you're I mean, creative. You're creative. I like to say I'm creative. I like to say I'm. Creative. I asked Dan where interested parties can find his artwork. Um, they could go to a number of galleries that I'm represented by. Um. One of them is uh, All Gallery in Lowell on Market Street. And another venue is um, W Gallery in Wayland. And another gallery that I'm represented by is uh, Brick Bottom in uh, Somerville. Mm -hmm. and, uh, His work is also available to view virtually and for purchase on the Parish Center for the Arts website. You can also reach Dan Rocha by email at drdr537 at gmail.com. He is also on Facebook and Instagram. All right, Dan, thanks a lot for joining me today. Take care. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. For Westfield Cat, I'm Patty Stalker.